Hello, everybody. I'm here with this episode of Weather Relations. Uh, this is episode three. Uh, I'll put it in the description. I understand Wednesday's episode, which is episode, or Wednesday's video, which was episode two. I never said it in the description, so I apologize about that. But um, I'll definitely say it in this description. This is episode three. Remember, okay, so these episodes, like, I remember numbers reset every month. So, like, on August, the first mon- or Monday, Wednesday, or Friday of August, it all. The note, like the ep- it will be episode one again, whichever one comes, whichever day comes first. Uh, Monday is the weekly outlook, and then th- Wednesday and th- Friday is our uh, storm outlook. This is a storm outlook. This is the severe weather outlook. But first of all, if there's like some like special like like special thing, I'll do a it's gonna be called a brief weather forecast, not a creative name. And this will be in episodes two. It'll probably only be like if there's like nothing happening, there could be like only there could be no episodes of that every month if there's like a lot of bad stuff, but I mean, that happens if there's, like, a major winter storm predicted to hit, uh, or, like, a hurricane or a major severe weather outbreak, or a severe weather outbreak that could be possible. But let's go ahead and get started. So this is the outlook for today. Uh, we have a slight risk stretching all the way from Montana and uh, South Dakota, Nebraska, Kansas, um, Colorado, and Wyoming. We have a slight risk. We also have th- two or three areas of marginal. We have one through Montana, North Dakota, South Dakota, Nebraska, Kansas, Missouri, uh, Illinois part portions of Indiana, Kentucky, Tennessee, Mississippi, Alabama, Oklahoma, Texas, New Mexico, and Colorado. Uh, we also have this area of marginal here in parts of uh, Illinois, wa- Wisconsin, uh, Minnesota, and Iowa. And then we also have a chance for some thunderstorms in the southeast. A lot of a lot of Georgia, a lot of Flo- or some parts of Florida, and portions of South Carolina and Alabama. Those regions, but. Um, it is looking like tornado threat. There's only a there's only two little areas. We have one here in central Kansas, and we have one in the border of uh, in between these borders of uh, Colorado, Nebraska, Wyoming, and South Dakota, and some parts of southwest or southeastern Montana. Wind threat seems to be the major threat um, in the southeast and the marginal risk um, up here in the Wisconsin region, but uh, that's the wind, that's the major threat. That's why there's a marginal risk. And then we have a 15% chance of wind um, here in portions of Nebraska, um, Colorado, and Kansas. You have a 15% chance for damaging winds and hail threat. 15% pretty much in the whole slight area. We have in the slight area is 15%, but we also have a, a hatched area for two for 10% or greater of two inch diameter hail within 25 miles of a point. Um, right here and in this area, right here, and so, yes. But we're also going to take a look at the severe weather outbreak for, or severe, not outbreak, severe weather threat for, um, just, this is for, um, Sunday, July 7th. You can see we already, this is day three, we already have a slight risk, because this could likely get upgraded to an enhanced risk, maybe tomorrow, or, um, two, or, Saturday or tomorrow, which is Saturday or Sunday, um, but and that could likely get upgraded to enhanced risk, and you also have a marginal risk in some portions of Idaho, Montana, and North Dakota. It has a severe weather potential for um, uh, Sunday. You also see we have only we don't have a hatched area yet. Um, and of course, this is going to want to reset, so I'm sorry. But if we go over, we're going to look at the HRR models prediction, or what the HRR model is saying for the severe weather threat for today. Um, you can see this is cur- this is around current. You can see we have some storms going this area. Nothing severe, maybe some isolated cellular storms that could be severe uh, with some hail in it. But as we go throughout the afternoon, you can see this is, um, this is getting into about 4 p.m. Central Daylight Time. We are starting to, uh, you can start to see... Some supercells, maybe by Denver, parts of Wyoming, and parts of uh, Montana and North Dakota. Maybe even some severe weather in Minnesota. But um, as we still go later, as we go later, you can see some firing up in Kansas. Um, play us out a few more hours. You can see they'll kind of die off at now. Some of them will die off at night, but then what? Some of them could be still be living, like some in here in South Dakota, some here in. Um, uh, Kansas and Colorado, those will likely be living after dark. But if you take out, let's take a look at the NAM model. You can see this is um, kind of this is older, but you can see if we pull up the uh, why, it, why is it switching to model <laughs> model run? I'm sorry. Um, pull up the pin. This is 13Z, and then as we go later, you can see maybe some 
damage remains of a little line. We have some storms here in Missouri, nothing big. But as we go throughout the afternoon, it says, you can see these super cells. There's some, these, some of these super cells can potentially fire up in Montana, Wyoming, and Colorado. Sorry, you can't see them very well. And also says these are, there could be some severe weather in this region. As we play this out a few more hours, you can see these storms will really get going. This is at about um, 8 p.m. You can see pretty strong storms going through Kansas. Uh, and in Nebraska, Montana, and South Dakota, and maybe even Wyoming at this time. Then those will kind of move off and die out throughout the night. Mainly a damaging wind throw. You can see this thing still bowing. Maybe some, some severe weather in this area still. But I was going to wrap up this video. First of all, I hope you had a great 4th of July. And please subscribe to my channel. We want to hit a thou I want to hit a thousand. Or I think our goal should be a thousand subscribers by the end of 2019. That is our goal. I think it is possible. But we are not growing very much. Or I think we're at about like 175. That's what my uh, thing says. Sometimes it goes up to 180, sometimes it goes down to 170, but we mostly are about 175. But I hope you will uh, stay subscribed to my channel. Please don't unsubscribe. But, um, uh, yes, so thank you for watching, uh, and have a good Friday afternoon.